And even self security agencies that don't come under fire for plenty big abuse of rights of Obodo Nigerians and during the recent lockdown from the federal government. Though some of them being Kolobi hand clap as sake of the do restraint for the face of provocate from Nigerians. Others they accuse to say then disobey human rights rules for sake of then take the laws inside their own hand. Our correspondent Idong Joseph in get this report. According to the National Human Rights Commission, over 200 cases of human rights violations by security operatives have been recorded, with about 29 fatalities. This has been since the commencement of the federal government's directive on a nationwide lockdown. These abuses include physical assaults, illegal seizures, extortion and even outright destruction of property, which has caused tremendous hardship on Nigerians. The violations by law enforcement agencies um, it, it, call, it occurs from time to time, but it's heightened during this uh, lockdown. One, it borders on um, excessive use of force, um, non-adherence to national and human rights uh, laws, um, non-adherence to rules of engagement, and um, unprofessional approach to um, service. Why Plus TV Africa investigated the conduct of security operatives? Surprisingly, some Nigerians commended their efforts but say their professionalism has been limited to only the city center. Our observation is that most uh, people are not uh, giving them cooperation because we can see a lot of uh, violation. But here in Abuja main town, there is a bit uh, good conduct compared to outskirts. People will come to see this building. When the crowd is too much, they will come and scare everybody out. Everybody will go. They won't touch up people. They won't cut people. They won't beat people. So they will just make the announcement. People are intercepted in Enugu. People are intercepted in Aba. We are also intercepted, heading to Katako, all the way from Medigu. So how did they go? They passed through these security checks by giving them money. Otherwise, um, in pursuit, the security operatives, they are doing very well. They are trying, checkmating people and letting people go. And some of them, kind enough to talk to you, why are you on the road? Why should we not obey the lockdown? And, uh, sometimes they stay hold some people and send them back. You can't be violating a law in order to enforce a law. So the only way we can go about it is security personnel should be should, 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 should be enlightened to know the provision of the law and to know the process of enforcement of the law. To know that at every instance you use the butt of a gun to eat a citizen, you have violated his human right to all the human rights of every citizen in high esteem. The National Human Rights Commission, while warning that the protection of citizens by security personnel is key the void of a violation of their right. However, I think adherence to human rights is everybody's responsibility. It is the duty of every Nigerian to protect his right first, that of his neighbor. And if there is an infringement, there is a place, the National Human Rights Commission can be alerted. We have our offices throughout the 36 states of the Federation. And I tell you, we have been very much alive to handling various complaints sent to us by members of the public. Idong Joseph, Plus TV Africa.